guys, White Charisma here, back with another Xmods Drifting 101. Today I'll be talking about bodies. It's a question I actually get a lot, and uh, today I'll actually be explaining uh, how to mount custom bodies. As you can see here, here's a couple of Mini Z bodies. This is actually on a Mini Z, and the Mini Z body on the Xmod with a uh, Evo car, and then this is the Mini Z body on the Gen 1. Because I get a lot of questions like, how did I do it? and um, how to lower a body too, like some of these as you can see are a little bit lower than stock and everything. So I'll just be going through a little bit of a tutorial here and show you guys how it's done. So first off, uh, I'll talk about uh, how to lower XMOD bodies. So the first thing you'll notice is my Impreza here looks pretty low. And actually the Impreza is one of the few cars like the Nissan Skyline and the Lancer that when they sit on a Gen 1 chassis, they actually sit pretty low. Also, I think the NSX and the RSX as well. So as you can see here, there's actually this is actually just a stock suspension. In the rear, this is actually a little strut bar that actually keeps the car a little bit lower, gives it some camber, if you can kind of tell there. But um, actually, this is pretty much stock. And on the Gen 1, I noticed that all cars, like every single car, will actually sit just a little bit lower. So when you actually move to the Evo chassis, um, as you can see here, this 350, this 370Z, I mean, is actually a little bit lower than stock. It's a little hard to tell because of the camera angle here, but I can actually show you that this does have the lowered suspension to make the car sit a little bit lower. And also, the front clip has been modified, and uh, I'll show you that here real quick. So now I've actually got the front clip off on the 370Z, and as you can see here that the clip is actually not very normal. It actually uh, looks way different so what I did was actually I sanded out and sanded down the uh, little towers and that actually lowers the front end of the car the rear end actually sat pretty low so I didn't actually have to sand the rear end at all but this is actually how a lot of people lower the front end of their car really easily and this is, a, this is actually just a normal clip this is the Acura NSX clip and this is what it looks like Un, unmodified and uh, not lowered at all so as you can see it's quite a big difference so uh, actually what you actually need to even lower it is really, really simple too. It's just sandpaper and a hobby knife. So what you do is, uh, actually I prefer a hobby knife, but a lot of people, um, if you don't want to mess up, because if you take a hobby knife and just start cutting away, you might actually just ruin the front clip completely. And I've actually done that with two or three of them, uh, a couple of Skyline ones and a Supra one. So what you want to do is just a little, be a little bit careful. When you sand down, you notice how it looks pretty pretty flush like on each side it looks really even you actually want it to be as even as possible so what I use is uh, like uh, an eraser to use it kind of like a sanding brick and you you put the you wrap the sandpaper around the eraser and you just kind of you use your thumb and you just kind of sand it like this until it's low enough and you just keep test fitting it on your car to see if it looks good the body itself is pretty much untouched um, usually when you lower a car, when you lower the front by lowering the front clip, you actually sand down the rear as well, where the rear clip sits. But uh, in this case, this car actually doesn't really need to uh, lower the rear end. I mean, I think I could do it just a little bit, but I got a little bit lazy. But um, on other cars, you can tell if you just lower the front end, it'll sit staggered. Like, one will be way lower than the rear um, to compensate. That's just, this is exactly where you sand down. You, you pretty much use the same technique. You take sandpaper and you just sand this area down until uh, it looks good or until you feel comfortable with where it's standing. Alright moving on to the Mini Z body on the Gen 1 chassis. So as you can see here this is a eye waver version of the Mini Z uh, Lancer body. It's just a cheap little copy but uh, this is one of the first bodies I actually got and I just wanted to test fit it to see how it would fit on an X mod. So let me just open this up right here and I'll just show you the inside. Some of you may have already seen this. I've actually posted pictures of this on uh, Xmod's forum. But as you can see here, there is no rear clip on Mini Z's. So you kind of have to make one yourself. What I did was I used plastic styrene. You see that little, the really big sheet of white stuff right there. And uh, I, it's pretty much like, a, I don't know, a credit card. That's how thick it is, the thickness. And you, you just glue it in, use super glue, you glue that in. For the rest of it, I actually stacked up just a whole bunch of double-sided stick tape. 
it's kind of hard to see, but you just I just kept stacking it up until I had um, enough height to actually fit on the car to where it actually sits pretty level. And I'll just try to show that there. Like, it's it's stiff enough to keep it up and it's squishy enough to give it a little bit of like um, suspension or a little bit of leeway, a little action on it. Now for the front clip, it's a little bit harder on Mini Z's because front clips on Mini Z's are completely different from X Mod ones. So this one right here is actually a modified Acura RSX clip from X Mods, and I took more styrene here. It looks a little bit uh, ghetto, a little like <laughs> messed up, but um, I took styrene, glued it on the top and the bottom, and put a little bit of tape, just a little bit of spacing right here, and I had to sand down the sides a little bit. It's really hard to see, but see how the black kind of sticks out on the side? That's because on Mini Z's, their front clips are a little bit more narrow than X Mods. They're like, some of them are a little bit more narrow, some of them are more wide. So this little plastic styrene right here is here to compensate, and they're actually longer as well. So what I had to do was just extend the front clip and make it just a little bit skinnier, and that lets it fit into the front of the body. Just like that. Really easy. And, uh, you know, it takes about 15 minutes at most. Like, seriously, it's really easy to do. Um, most Mini Z bodies you'll buy, though, will come with side clips already glued on. In this case, this car um, uh, had, like, the really cheapy ones that are made not by Mini Z, so they came off really easy. You just take a pliers, just rip them off. And then uh, this one actually didn't really have too big of sidewalls. But um, here, I'll actually show you a Mini Z body to show you what I'm talking about a lot of people actually don't understand why it's so hard or why it's a little bit difficult to uh, put a mini Z body on X mod but this is a, this is actually what a mini Z body looks like so the mini Z actually comes with side clips like this and you have to remove them and make sure that the side little holders don't actually hit the body or hit the chassis on the X mod when you actually want to fit it and uh, yeah, that's actually how simple a Mini Z body is. It only comes with side clips and just the little front clip that holds it. And that's how they're held down. Essentially, the Evo car is exactly the same. As you can see on the Skyline here, I actually use the same method. This one was actually one of the, this is the second, or th yeah, I think this, this was actually the second one that I modified was with the styrene and the um, double side stick tape to stack it up. But um, yeah, this is one of my first bodies I actually bought and put on an X-Mod. Uh, I actually watched a lot of other people do it, but I kind of found out a way. Um, Goodfellas and a couple of other guys on the X-Mods forum, they did this with model bodies, not the Mini-Z ones. So I took the idea and just applied it to a Mini-Z and it works out the same way. Oh, and also a couple of little custom accessories. This exhaust did not come with a body like this. Uh, I took it from an Xmos G35 body kit. I actually uh, used to snipe a whole bunch of G35 body kits just to take the exhaust tips. So if you notice on a lot of my cars, a lot of videos that have really nice tips is because they all came from the Xmos G35 body kit and I would glue them on my bodies. Just saying. But um, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a really simple way. The same uh, front clip styling as the Xmos Evo. This is a little different. I actually used the Mustang GT clip because it had better height. And then I had to sand on, or I had to put on some styrene and then sand it down ever so slightly so it would fit snug right into that front clip. So it's actually not as hard as people would think and uh, should be fairly easy to do in about, you know, 15, 20 minutes if you had styrene. And if you don't have styrene, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I don't have styrene around me. Well, where am I supposed, what am I supposed to use? Um, use like, I don't know, like um, old credit cards that your parents have, old gift cards and stuff. It's actually the same type of material. It's just that hard kind of plastic. So it all works out in the end. Well, thanks for watching another Xmods Drifting 101. I hope that helps with a lot of questions that people have been asking me on how to mount the custom bodies and everything. Of course, you can find uh, Mini Z bodies virtually anywhere they sell Mini Zs. Just, you know, type in a Google search, Mini Z Auto Scale Mini Z bodies, and you'll find a whole boatload of them. And they range from, like, 
you know Nissan Silvias to like Range Rovers and everything so they have a whole bunch of bodies a huge selection of stuff that you can use to put on your X mods so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>